I'm Erica Ferrari, and we're here with New to the Streets interview with HydroFi CEO Roger M. Slotkin. Hi, how are you? Hi, nice so to nice. See you. Can you tell us about the efficiency and emissions improvements, especially uh, particulate matter? Matter is that what it's called? Particulate, called particulate matter? matter. Let me give you the basic science. We have a system that uses regular distilled water. It breaks it down into its constituent components of hydrogen and oxygen. They're added to the combustion process on buses and trucks. And that yields a better efficiency of burn, so you're getting more miles per gallon. And it reduces emissions. If you burn fuel more cleanly, you emit less. When you hear about emissions, traditionally you hear about greenhouse gases, CO2, and the such. But the black smoke that comes out of these buses and trucks is called particulate matter. And that's usually partially or unburnt fuel. And that's the stuff that you hear about that causes asthma, emphysema, uh, and lung cancer. And it's the leading target of major metropolitan cities around the world, especially you've heard in the news, Mexico City, Beijing, et cetera, and even here in New York. Interesting. Can you tell us more about water-based hydrogen fuel production systems? Yeah, uh, the hydro plant is what it's called, uh, is our patented approach to breaking down, again, the water into hydrogen and oxygen and doing so with no chemicals. We use a fuel cell, which you might have heard the term, which is normally used to generate electricity from hydrogen. In reverse, it's controlled in a very specific environment electronically. It's placed on board a bus or truck. It's a small unit weighing less than 100 pounds. A two-gallon supply of water will take that truck as a catalyst about 1,500 to 2,000 miles. So there's a lot of energy in water. And the process has been around for decades, but it's never been perfected in a chemical-free and a robust environment that lasts on the road, you know, mile after mile. Sounds really exciting. So HydroFi plans to become the world's only high-volume, automotive-grade manufacturer of hydrogen-assisted engine systems. How can that happen? It's a very good question. This has been around for decades, probably around since World War II. Um, the precursor systems had chemicals in them to make the water conductive, very dangerous, and that's not where you want to go. So people have been searching for a clean tech way of doing it. I took the company over a little over two years ago and redeveloped their existing technology. Um, and it's really not terribly rocket science, it's understanding an industrial world, the robust world of buses and trucks generating a lot of g-force when they bounce up and down the roads with people and goods on them. And we have discovered that in the countries like Latin America, Eastern Europe, and China, where they tend to have the older trucks, the older buses, which are more fuel inefficient and dirtier, those are our target markets. And those markets also have higher priced fuel. So you have a device that you can put on with a very good return on investment, keeping a bus or a truck on the road that normally would have to come off, and doing so with less emissions. Wow, sounds like a win-win. Well, thank you so much, Roger. I hope you can join us in the studio for a future interview on New to the Street. And we look forward to hearing more about HydroFi technologies. Thank you so much, and thank you for having HydroFi interview today. Thank you.